Uh, right, despite the PS slightly like ground dog day. I hope they don't copyright me for that. Um this is the Mon I wanna go to pick up on Friday. Um no Monday afternoon. Uh we've got We haven't got far to go, but we're going to get something else. Don't tell my mum. Don't think she's a big watcher on my channel. I'm really hoping she's not at this point because she wouldn't. Um, yeah, we've got another Astro GT we're going to get. Uh, this is, uh, I can't remember what reg it is. Might be E, might be F, I don't know. Um, GT8 valve. Uh, blue didn't do many in blue I'd actually forgotten they did blue ones uh, it's been stored away he said it'd been in the garage with a rest on it it's too incredible in my opinion for it to be unless it didn't have a roof on it in which case probably worse we filled with snow and then acted like a bucket um, then he forgot it straight on it so yeah, we're, it's, this guy he pulled there, I think he pulled it out the garage on Saturday, another Craig David, he pulled out the garage on Saturday, he gave it, he took it off a lorry Sunday, put it, gave it a quick jet wash, put it on various Facebook marketplace uh, groups, well, car sales groups on Facebook marketplace, um, managed to get talking to him Sunday, well, last, yeah, last night. We'll move so fast. Talking to him last night, I said, oh, it's, it's got a complete interior. Complete plastics, seats, everything. Now, he said, oh, the seats, you know, they look better in the picture. He didn't, he tried to talk me out of it. Um, because he, appear, he appears to be a very nice guy. Um, like we said, when we were going to collect the justifying everything to myself uh, when we were going to collect the pickup the body shell on this is rank it's, it's tasty but it's got digital dash which is depending on who scale you go on 250 350 including the sensors to make a digital dash work it's got complete interior like I paid under a pound for carpets because um, you can't try finding carpets for a three door Astro GT they are not easy to come across um, all sorts of little plastic switches all of that crap that is all if I do decide to break it which I'm undecided I, I don't know we'll, we'll see what state it's in he said the body's bad the body's bad you know we've got two other Astro GT 16 valves with semi complete interiors um, I've also got that pickup which I need some engine based stuff for. For what I'm paying for it, I can break it for more than what I'm paying. So, I wanted to complete the parts list on some other projects. He did say he had like a hundred watchers. Oh, you're just coming here. Uh, no, he didn't. He had a hundred messages. That's right. Because I managed to get him. He saw the message and then said to my mobile, he sent me a private message saying, "This is my mobile number. Ring me." I rang him within about two minutes of him sending that message. We had a chat. Got him on board with. If I want it, I'll be there tomorrow afternoon. With cash, no waiting, no messing about. I'll send you a deposit now. Uh, which is fair play to him. I was gonna send him 200. He said just send me 50 so you're comfortable Which you know, I am faulting that But uh, How much battery have we got? Not much, right. I'm gonna put this on charge And crack on, oh, sorry. Put this on charge, crack on with the mile munching and we'll come back. It's a lovely day for it In uh, Welsh Wales 
So yeah, we'll speak to you in a bit. Bye bye. It's a bit small. It's a bit actually perfect, groomed, isn't it? yeah. Oh, he's checking his shop. Rather sore bottom. Yeah. And I just love this. I don't know. I don't know if anyone else. Oh, but I remember, I remember so many times where I felt like I might be falling in love. Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. Yeah. Because this is a, apparently this is the A47. Well, I don't think it is. This can't be an A. It's a single. I've been in single lane lanes since I got off the motorway. So we've done four miles down stuff like this. There's got to be a better way. and then turning left. Yes, there is a 
bad way. Right, I'm gonna go. We go through the dicey name Tumble. I'm going to Upper Tumble. And even though that's probably the quickest way down there. Yeah, I ain't going down there. Give her the program sign now. Right, that's a lot better then. Okay. Looks like we're on an E road to the beginning. There the ice pad. This is what we've picked up. Like we said, it is quite rusty and crusty. This complete dish. So we just pumped the tyres up and we're gonna try and get it on the trailer a bit quick and skedaddle for home. <laughs> You haven't got a log book, right? Oh, I think it was in the advert when you said you haven't got a log book. Uh, no, you couldn't find the log book. Um, oh, there's another thing. Oh, is it? Yeah. Right, nice to meet you, mate. Hello, pal. Okay. Could have been easier, could have been more difficult. Car is on. Nice guy, really nice guy. Got talking about YouTube. He said he sold cars to like drop a big YouTubers, and I was like, oh, well, like, oh, he said oh, I didn't catch the names, but they turned up, and I had to insist on driving up the drive for the second time so they could film it and all this sort of stuff. And I was like, oh, not that bad. But he's advised me of a better way uh, back to the motorway, which should involve less single track roads, perhaps. What I should have done is reversed it in the first place, but it was quite a long way from the road and I couldn't see what the setup was, so that's my racing driver excuse. So yeah, he advised me a lot better way to get back to the motorway. Well, this isn't the motorway yet, but it will turn into the motorway soon. 
um, which was all main roads, no single track, stupid lanes. Uh, we just gone past the turn and we went on the way there. So yeah, thank you Mercedes Art Nav. It took us pretty much a straight line. Which I wouldn't have wanted to go out along in a car really, but luckily we didn't meet anyone, so it was okay. Yeah, cars as rough as what he said it was going to be, so it's exactly as described. Um, I think he was a little bit nervous about me turning up and going, Ah, oh, I can't drive at all, come on, we all had them. Um, but yeah, I did, we did what we said, turned up, got it, uh, put the tyres up, rolled it on the trailer, he helped a lot, thank God. So yeah, happy days, we a little two wheels at home and then we'll have a proper look at it. Uh, as you can see, it is not lovely here. Okay, let's try that again. So this is what we bought today, on Monday. Uh, it's a G-Reg, which is on a, which 1990 on a G-Reg, eight valve, Mark II Astra GTE, completely standard, original. It's been somewhere for like 20 years. The guy bought it because he wanted the set of wheels that were on it for his other car. Um, also in the boot, there's some nice little extra bit. This, all the side skirts that are missing are in the boot. And there's another set of these, there's another two of them. Uh, another set of backlights. And a couple of other little bits and bobs. It's got a fairly... It's got that blow punked stereo. Which is fairly... Um, period correct. That's the word I was going for. Yeah, van did brilliant today. No engine management light. And he still needs a clean. But yeah, that's fair play. We're, we're happy today, Van. Brakes do smell a bit because it's a bit downhill on the way back. Um, yeah, I'm going to load this, unload this. Oh, I'm not taking off the trailer, it's peeing it though. Get this outside the unit and that's me done for the day. 
All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and you'll be able to find more, find out more about my plans for all these Astros that I bought. Nice. Like this. Take care.